I guess we could buy a character, right? 250 bucks, are you crazy? The locksmith can sacrifice slots at the cost of energy. Preventing the cards from being discarded between rounds starts with three str open structure slots. Sacrifice can lock sacrifice slots at the cost of energy, preventing the cards from being discarded. Can lock. <laughs> Hey God, I'm just wondering if I, if I have the you know what's to handle this. He can save his cards between turns. Okay, let's give it a try. I'm gonna hire him, and then I'm going to go back to rewards and I'm gonna purchase some, some stuff. Ooh, redemption cards that destroy when used have a 20% chance to be discarded instead. Take 50 shield damage and draw a card. That's scary. A lightning tower deals holy damage. Tower projectiles pierce an extra enemy. The roguelite classic. <laughs> okay. Piercing damage. Let me see what we got here to start with. Let's try a sniper, and then we literally can't play anything else, but we can use one energy to like save a card, right? Maybe right click? Is that, that's, okay, I see how that's gonna work. What would I like to save? Uh, I guess I would like to save another thing that does holy damage. Click. He's cracked. We're gonna need some uh, crowd control for sure. So that's a garrison. I think we should run a Sin Spotter. Playing an active early seems pretty sensible. And then one energy to... No, I don't really wanna save any of these cards, quite frankly. I think I would send them all... Well, we might as well save a card for one energy. Maybe it gives us something um, swappable next time. I guess we do like stuff that makes our tower better. We don't know if we're just running garrison. Yeah, we. I guess we should be combining too. It's a good point. It's a good point. Okay. Damage of all tower projectiles. Getting a blue seems important. Tower projectiles pierce. Holy cow, it costs six. Send it, brother. <laughs> and then uh, I guess we'll play fast rock. And then we'll banish useless rock. And we can't save any cards because we're out of energy. Okay, now we want to go tower pilled because we got piercing already. We banish our regular rocks. Well, for now, we will improve our sniper, I suppose. Why not? It's garbage. Um, okay, these two get upgraded into a green. Not thrilled with any of these, honestly. Um, I'll take Blessed Sight. I don't expect to see myself playing it. Second sniper. Not going to save a fast rock. Might as well just play it past turn. I'm here so late. Can I get the lowdown on this game or should I wait for the body boy? It's it's not as complicated as it looks, okay? Imagine it's a tower defense game, but in order to play towers and, uh, well, to do anything, you play attacks. Or you play cards. Sorry, I got distracted. I'll be straight up with you, brother. I'm having them pierce the second enemy. So it's, I guess what I'm trying to say is that it's the perfect game. It is a deck builder tower defense game. Dome Keeper meets Slay the Spire meets Pinball meets uh, Bacon Cheeseburger. I'm going to pass away and die. Never mind. Okay, better Sin Spotter. I personally would like to save my Sniper. 
and then maybe give my towers more range. That makes perfect sense. And then we can play our sniper next time. Yeah, but you said Slay the Spire was boring in your video. That was anti that was under duress, okay? That was me fulfilling an obligation. I, I, apparently, I got run off the golf course by losing by one stroke. I mean, I did lose. You didn't have to rub it in. You didn't have to lie to the people, you know? Okay, this is not going well so far. Sunder. Repenters. Guns of God. I want none of this. <laughs> I guess I want... I want towers, but I want a tower that pierces enemies, and you are not piercing enemies. Give me a blue. And a tower. And then... Give me luck. I know we need some HP, but give me luck. Luck seems amazing. We've made it all the way to Lust. Seven minutes in. We want a better sniper. AOE of, of a piercing projectile seems like it might be worth saving at the very least. And then pass turn. We should definitely be combining though. Do the snipers do anything? <laughs> I'm going to die. You guys gotta spawn some units, I'm dying! It's horrendous. Replace them? I got nothing to replace them with, man. It's like you're asking the Canucks to just play better players. Um, I think, we, I mean, we need an insane card, okay? So, like... A tower. A lightning tower. Forget about this green sniper, okay? Combine them. Lightning tower. And tower range is increased. And then, I can't even save hemorrhage anymore, but it's got to be played. Have they saved us? Well, we're not dying immediately. That seems like a, a start. It turns out it is that easy. What's the Canucks excuse, man? We need Sin Spotter. We need Sin Spotter to be upgraded. Honestly, Rip Sniper, I'm making a very bold play here. You're completely useless. You guys are both green. Upgrade me. 50 shield damage and draw a card. I can't do that. This helps everything. I can play it! can play it! Okay! We're so back. Turns out lightning is a projectile. Uh, we're washed. Yep. <laughs> Alright, that did not go well. Don't talk to me. I found another file. I copied it to your folder. Hang on. Okay. Let me let me just make sure. This is in my own email. <laughs> hey Jerry, I may have a suggestion that could help with this. It, it's a bit wild, but please bear with me. Although we tried to make the system as user-friendly as possible, it may simply not be possible to train demons to use the software. Some of them are literally ancient. I was playing around with the system last night, and weirdly enough, I caught myself having fun. Do you think we could repackage the system as a video game and have human gamers do demons' jobs, have humans punish humans? It would require a lot of gamification, and we would also need to dehumanize the visuals a bit. It can't be too gory, and it has to maintain the illusion of harmless fun. It's a crazy idea, but it's, I think it's worth something, right? Eh, very interesting. It appears that I have become a cog in the machine. And now I'm like, immediately back to the gameplay, okay? I am a simple man. Let's try something a little different. Let's try Hellfire Synergy. Sunder. Freeze Repentors for next time. Can I get my energy back? <laughs> nope. Well, okay, let's not waste any. I should have combined them. Like the one, the two that were in my hand first. I should have combined them first. There's an order of operations associated there. Turn one, we combine before play. Now we know.
I want to play Repentors. I want to play Dark Mark. And I want to... This is useless. Range. Range could be useful. Let's put that back. Combine these. Let's see what you get. Garrison unit. Garrison. A lightning tower that does holy damage. We'll just save it for now. How many bathroom breaks is too many on an eight-hour workday? None of your business, honestly. If you if you got adults in your office, you know, I mean, there's probably a number that's that's too many. But I think definitely, like, if if they have to use the bathroom like once an hour, that's completely a okay. Maybe anything more than that, you might start to question it a little bit, but. Once an hour? Once an hour is outside of the ba the bounds of normalcy. But I'm just saying it's where you can start to question it as far as I'm concerned. Otherwise, you better be damn sure they're looking at their phone in the bathroom. Otherwise, you're going to get sued. You don't get to ask me about my, my bathroom habits just because uh, I use your computer to... You know, you pay me 15 bucks an hour. You make 80 bucks an hour as a result of my labor. And you got the audacity to be like, why are you pissing so damn much? I don't care for my my garrison synergy yet. Give me some blues. You know what? I think we're I think we're hot swapping our lives here. As crazy as it sounds, I think we play nothing this turn. I shouldn't have spent the energy on that now that I look at it. Well, why don't we just go purple? Well, you know what? We could go purple sunder. And go Hellfire Synergy instead of Purple Lightning. On the other hand, Lightning is cool. But uh, this probably gives us a better chance of survival. And then this allows us to save a green for free. And it's Hellfire Damage! Well, well, well. I'm just saying, if you're at your friend's house and you piss like once an hour, that's a little much. If you're at the boss, or if you're at the, if you're at work, I should say, not at the boss. <laughs> if you're at work, as long as those are real pisses, who are they to say you shouldn't drink so much water? Especially when they probably have like a, you. I mean, you got their hands completely tied, right? Because they're probably having like a hydration challenge at work. Whoever can go the most days drinking eight glasses of water a day wins like a $50 gift certificate to the local mall. Then all of a sudden they're going to be like, you're using the bathroom too much. Make it make sense, health and wellness. Excuse me, HR, HR, I'm uncomfortable. Just increase your hellfire damage for now. We're learning about order of operations. Save Cursed Rock to hot swap it next turn, and then we'll we'll play this Repenters next turn if we can. Moon Moon pisses like every 45 minutes. First off, that information is something that I have no reason to know. This is a, a, a colleague, at least in the same industry. I should not know about their bathroom habits, but you shouldn't just be putting those on blast for anybody. Um, secondly, is he a noted sparkling water consumer? I should have I should have left it up here. It's still saved. It's still saved. Now I got all these damn rocks. Drinks a lot of coffee. That'd do it. That'd do it for sure. I guess I'll be playing my rocks. You don't need to be saved anymore. You don't really need to be played either, but I mean, I could drink three glasses of water and not have to pee over a five-hour stream. But if I have, like, one can one can of sparkling water, it's over. I'm pissing three times, without a doubt. Okay, better Repentor? Why don't we just leave this here? Because I just paid the... And now it's not frozen anymore. That's why. Idiot. <laughs> Hang on, green me. Hellfire damage. Absolutely. Keep it stuck up there. 
pay extra for the sunder next time. I accidentally did the thing where my first run was so good I'm never going to get there again. That's a roguelite classic, for sure. First run, you're paying attention because you're like, oh, I'm going to, you know, you only get one shot at this. I'm going to learn the best I can. You do amazing. Second run, you don't pay attention as much because you're like, I'm naturally goaded at this. Oh! Give me blues and purples, please. Give me plus 100% tower damage. These, okay, fire is a projectile in this world. What a concept. In that case, I think this is pretty good. Then we can also play this. And then we can't afford to freeze anything, but that's okay. We already have something half decent frozen. If you hold your piss, you weaken your bladder. First off, I don't think that's true. Secondly, I hope that when they had that scene in Liar Liar, where Jim Carrey talks about, um, you know, I heard if you hold your pee habitually, it can make it difficult to sustain an erection or even become aroused. And then the judge is like, well, I think in that case, everybody should take a 15 minute bathroom break. I hope they did their research before they uh, made that scene, because that is like a foundational, okay. Okay. It's a foundational piece of knowledge for my generation. And if it turns out that that's misinformation, I mean, it would, it would break my heart, that's for sure. Now check it out, I'm actually doing something smart for once. I saved my Hellfire Rock to use it appropriately. Did you know Jim Carrey can't lie in that movie? Okay, you know what, I didn't think about that. I guess, in that case, it must be true. Okay, green repenters. Green, maybe I could save a green repentor. I think increasing tower range on the fire. It does seem, it seems pretty darn good. Oh, look at that, did you see that? And then we could pay one to save you. Increase the recharge rate of dark mark, which is just a fun thing to say. Two by 10 is better. You, you don't understand, okay? 2 by 10 is not necessarily better. Because it's going to cost you twice as much energy. And it's going to take up one extra slot in your deck. It's going to take you one extra draw to get to it. You got to think about these things in a game like this. Now, was I thinking about it? No, not at all. I'm just saying there's multiple spectrums one may consider. Okay, we have a green Repentor in here. I'm a genius. That takes us to a blue Repentor. Which might eventually one day get us to a purple. <laughs> oh, hang on. Combine two purple Repentor? Oh! He's crazy. And then combine these two lads right here. Green Sunder? Who says no? Store it, baby. Draw two also looked good, don't get me wrong, but... It's part of greed. Me getting plus twos for Yu-Gi-Oh jokes, despite having never played Yu-Gi-Oh, except in Inscription. <laughs> I got an idea. It looks like, well, it looks like this. Pull me, then give me Hot Rock, Gray Sunder, upgrade. I was looking for a Sunder, we didn't get it. But it gave me a Hemorrhage. Hemorrhage does nothing for us. I shouldn't have pulled it out. I was just trying to see if it affected the tower. We got two three pieces here, though. I would definitely go blue sunder and then increase the damage of all fire. That sounds great. <clears throat> I feel like this is deceptive, though. Like, I always do well at this, like, ring around the rosy. And then 
No matter what, when I get the greed, like it's all over. Still pretty good, okay. These two get upgraded. Feel like Divine Sight is, is still nice. We'll play a Divine Sight. Then for one energy, we'll freeze this card. So maybe we can combine it with something next time. Can you zoom out a little? Guess what? I can. Look at that. No, no, you hid, you hid the blue from me. I hate to say it, this is a skip. In my household, this is a skip. I will take, do you think attack speed affects the fire? I would guess yes. All right, let's try. Either way, I would take a slot here. Well, be that as it may. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Okay, here's what I'm thinking. Pull this out. Pop this in. Combine. They're all anus. Combine this with my other anus green that I have no interest in. It's still anus. Um, let's get something we can store. And then we'll play both of these and we'll store a fast... Well, we might as well just play fast rock. Ah, it seems you've stumbled upon an eye. Fun, aren't they? Don't question it. What? I've stumbled upon an eye? Any lore masters in the chat? Did I stumble upon... Did I kill it so fast I didn't even get a chance to see it? I guess they did say don't question it. Good, good point. Mm, okay, you got to pull this out. Two worst rocks get combined into something, uh, just a green that perhaps we could use. Combine your greens into a blue. I know that this is a blue sunder. We got to play a blue sunder. I was thinking about running, combining it with divine light, but you know what? Give me that second purple sunder. Freeze me a blue, play a hot rock pass turn. I'm on anger and I'm scared. I don't know. Have I even made it through greed? Maybe I'm not as goaded on this as I thought I was. What's after purple? Extremely blizzard voice. You're not going to believe this, brother. Second purple. I guess we could combine. Then run a green. We have three energy remaining. I'm going to increase all of my damage. And I'm going to keep you frozen there. I guess I'll play a rock for no reason. 20% damage increase is the kind of thing that's hard to ignore. Oh baby, we're so back. I'm going infinite mode. Four rocks! I have an idea. Rock, rock, green. Sunder, sure. I guess in that case we could just play this. It kind of throws a little monkey wrench into my plan, but rock, rock, green, repentors. I don't think any of this is really relevant. We'll take a repentors, keep it frozen, keep our divine light frozen so eventually we can turn it into a purple that's hopefully useful for me. Should add garrison damage. Suppose, to be honest with you, I completely forgot we got gold repenters so fast that I forgot they had a use. Okay, so check this out. I'm gonna go crazy mode. I'm gonna combine my two greens, even though one of them is useful. It's given me the the blue I was looking for, but then we're combining the two blues to get a purple. I would say a purple I'm looking for, sure. Yeah, 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 a purple I'm looking for. And then, double play it. Two useless rocks become a green 
that can get stored for free. Sure, there's a little garrison speed for you. Pass turn. You know what? We play those. Why is there a mouth in the middle? Because we're on the gluttony level, brother. POV, you are my dentist. Okay. Rocks get combined. Get this green sunder out of here. Turn it into a blue sunder. They did not turn it into a blue sunder. Okay, now this is insanity. I'm turning my two blues into a purple. My purple is draw two cards. <laughs> I'm playing Swift Vengeance and freezing this one to combine next turn. We're, we're certainly doing a, long, a lot of combinations. But now we could just combine two useless purples into a, a beautiful gold. How many cards do I have in my deck? 12? And like not, almost all of them are rocks? Did I just take some damage? Or did I just kill a, a boss that went Purple Sunder. We definitely take Purple Sunder. Uh, plus 100% Hellfire damage. Guaranteed. Please take a slot. Under no circumstances. Hellfire damage. Necessary. Punish is big. Divine Sight. Little, little extension on that. Freeze this, and we could maybe turn these into a into a useful hellfire blue. Okay, greed is where I usually die. I guess it makes sense that greed is the level where you get the gold that you then use to spend to upgrade things. Careful, the repenters are falling off. You know what? Say no more, fam. Gold repentors? Don't think so. Purple Sunder, welcome to the squad. You know what? I will take a blue bless. I have none energy. The lad has gone mad. Green Sunder? We could turn that into a better Sunder later. Yeah, 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 yeah. It seems 10 times better. Am I crazy? It seems 100 times better. Like boom, 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 boom. Okay, they are still moving in pretty quick, though. <laughs> okay, simple man. Mm, thanks, I hate it. Pull it back. Drop a bless. Bless gave us a free rock. At least it gave us some... Tempo. Okay. All right. All right. A, a divine sight to be stored. Check this out. Divine sight to be played. Combine these two. One of them's useless. Purple sunder. I don't know. I think we can get our... Well, that does make a gold. It is pretty nice. Help me. Actually, they're still doing a really good job. New PB possibly incoming. Okay, now they're doing less of a good job. It's okay, a little, a little HP damage. Never hurt anybody. Well, I'll, I don't even want a gold. I want a green because it could become a gold that's actually useful. I'm sorry, we, we simply don't want it. Stop hitting me, please. Increase Hellfire damage. Necessary? Okay. That was good. That was a good turn. Combining two golds re-rolls them. Ah, I didn't know that. I've always died before it ever presented itself as an opportunity. Come on. Come on. We're about to get another reward. It's coming. Maybe not. Okay. Uh, I mean, draw two cards goes crazy. 
but we also need to do some combinations. You know what? That's probably so playable. First, let's draw. Combo into Blessed, it drew a rock. It's literally drawn a rock for me every time. Like, this is comical. Give me a Divine Sight, please. Combine that with Swift Vengeance. It's horrendous. <laughs> it's horrible. And freeze a punish so we can play it next turn. I wish I played it this turn. Look at this though. This is where we died that oh yeah, good. This is where we died last time, right? Or at least this is where we took a lot of damage. It's not looking that bad. Oh two punishes into a golden punish. I guess into a, I can't really complain about a gold sunder, but like wasn't exactly what I was looking for. Send it again. Uh, we go again. We go again. I don't even think that affected anything. <laughs> now we need a slot. You're absolutely right. Uh, we're setting a new PB though. That's guaranteed. Huge. What? <laughs> I got 145. I don't want any of this trash. I got plus 20 luck. This should be crazy. Okay. Okay. 100. I don't have enough gold. It's horrible. I I skip you. Okay. I'll take an extra slot this time. What a what a waste of my money, man. What are we on now? Anger. We made it all the way to anger. People will stop laughing at us now. Okay, this is simple. Two rocks become a green. Which, combined with our green, becomes a blue. Okay. Um, and we let that blue simmer there. We're going to turn it into a purple later. This is new PB without a doubt. Completely unrelated. Have you seen 3,000 Years of Longing? I haven't. My parents saw it, and they gave me the classic um, we didn't like this movie answer when I asked how it was. They said um, it was quite abstract, which is my parents, most of the time, that's like their polite verbiage for this movie wasn't that good. But I read the synopsis, and I was like, it seems interesting at least. Okay, and look at this. No wonder we're drawing rocks nonstop, brother. <laughs> Frankie Fast Hands! It doesn't do anything! Okay, Frankie Fast Hands must be frozen then. And honest... Well, this should be frozen too. We're creating golds out of these. Why not take the Sunder? With God as my witness, I forgot we added a slot. But look at this, with three golds, you really think I'm gonna add a purple to the team? That's subtraction via addition, brother. We don't stop till we get a gold. Okay, we go blue, because it's the highest rarity. We praise. We praise again. I should have combined the two purples, man. Here, we take Frankie fast. Okay, just give me a second here. What's in my draw pile? <laughs> it's just rocks. <laughs> okay, rock me into a green. The green doesn't matter. Rock me into a green. I mean, this is a great way to convert a lot of cards quick. We have a lot of draw. We draw garbage. And then we can very quickly turn that garbage into at least like a purple. Do I have, I have Tower Scaling and Hellfire Skin? I don't know which one I'm, I should be looking at here. It's probably Unholy MG if I had to guess. Oh, you know what? You're right. Just take any any random gold. You're, you're precisely correct. Oh! <laughs> I 
I'm keeping bless. Ooh! Four gold sunders? Dude, we're close to going infinite, except for the fact that obviously we run out of energy. But we can we can turn like four rocks into a single gold in like three turns, which is good because we're gonna have to. Okay, what's what we don't know what we're drawing. I would still start here. And we would like to have range, although I'm not sure we want to have anything. We'd still like range, please. <laughs> Next turn. I get that we didn't play anything that turn, but we did create a purple card that will then combine with another purple card to maybe make a gold that has some merit. I think like gold hellfire damage might not be unlocked, but it would be nice. Okay, pull me. Greens. I gotta combine my purples into a gold. No disrespect to praise B. I hate to lose it. Okay, it's simple. We combine two golds. <laughs> Do I have, what are you, you're a green? I'm saving both of these. We combine two golds into a rerolled gold. I mean, it's not like we're really in danger. Oh, never mind. The dudes are coming in pretty fast. You only have gold towers unlocked. That's a problem. <laughs> yeah, that's an issue. I guess I could get another slot. It's a good point. All right. Kind of sick with it. We're going infinite. Heresy. Okay. I mean, for now, why don't you go out there? And then we go rocks. Hellfire damage. Rocks. Hellfire damage? No? Okay, that's fine. It's fine. A blue. A useless blue. I will never uh, forgive you for that. Okay, end turn. You got to play the Hellfire damage instead of combining. I was so ready to say thank you for your advice until you new lined and then wrote Jesus Christ afterwards. This about the game just came out today. It's my personal best by like a factor of 100%. People, then you would think that like on the run where I died instantly, people were like, nice try, nice try. You had the right idea. On this one, people were like, fuck you, go die. What's wrong with you? Touch grass. It's insanity, man. Okay. Pull this out here. Rock me, upgrade. Doesn't matter. Pull me. Play me. Upgrade me. We want to stop at the level of purples now, because the only thing gold is a tower. So we'll combine our two blues. We want a purple that's useful for us. <laughs> oh, but then, no, 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 because we still have, like, this is not a good slot for us. We can combine our two purples into a golden tower. Okay, we do have one item, but we don't... I guess the only cards we have that get destroyed when played are towers, but... Sniper Garrison, Lightning Tower, Holy Damage. Honestly? Oh, you're right, I do already have a gold tower in my deck. I guess I'll just hold a tower for the future. Because if we beat this level, and that isn't the end of the game, we'll want to have another gold that we can put in a tower slot right away. Right now it looks great, though. Okay. We still want to combine, though. You become a green. She becomes a blue. This becomes a purple. 
We don't want Purple Sunder, unfortunately. We could just play a Punish, though. We'd be happy to play a Punish. And then you might as well store that. There we go. We, we got a, a, a little loop cooking now. He actually played a card. I mean, what can I say? I think I'm cooking. Honestly, I don't know if the game ever ends, but I think we're... If it's gonna end, we're getting there. Upgrade me. Range. Any chance... Do we have blue range or does it only go up to... Oh, another punish, dude. I would completely... I mean, we have nothing else to combine. I would completely play another punish. Absolutely. And Hellfire damage by 2%, I suppose. is not a lot, but... Look at this lad. Do you see the lad with the little skibbity legs? You think Mozart is in hell? I don't know, man. His music is like really good. <laughs> in my opinion. I don't know if his music is even good. All I know is that I've been told it's good for my entire life. So it's impossible for me to, to judge, really. It is? Alright, see? I mean, I'm just telling you, if I had the choice between Celebration Rock by Japan Droids or like Cantata number set by Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, I'll be singing Knights of Wine and Roses before you even hear the woodwind section tune the first note, okay? Either way, I respect you. <laughs> okay, greens become blues, become who cares? These become greens. That's actually meta playable right now. So is this. And then we have no energy. It's fine. I don't really mind just letting these ones come around. <laughs> Little skibbity legs. No sweat. Dude, we're, we're going. We're going to the next level. Yes. Okay, who cares? All greens? What have I done to you? <laughs> you hate me and you want me to die? Extra slot? With the only way we can scale is like extra slot now. And then we got to combine purples. Oh, we have a lightning tower that we can just pop down. It's not going to be as good as a Sunder, but that's, you know, what is in, in this modern world. I would say you just, just play your cards this time. Violence. Violence, I don't even... Is that a circle of hell? I am not familiar with Dante Alighieri. I'm telling you, you give me the choice between Dante Alighieri's The Divine Comedy or um, Clifford the Big Red Dog. I'm going Clifford 10 times out of 10. I'm going to increase my range. I know it seems like a, a bold play. I think we, we desperately need range. Perhaps even more so than damage. We don't have blue range, though. We should play both range and then store this bad boy. Right here. That way we can dam we can start damaging enemies from afar. Did you see how much that changed my life? Actually, it's still kind of dangerous, but that's okay. I'm sorry, I tell you. I think you you range up immediately once again. Freeze your blue sunder and just you play your rock for essentially no reason. I <laughs> I need the purple sunder. Oh, but if I save the oh. Okay, okay, we just gotta go fast. You play the repentors. You play divine light. Um, I, this is there's there's too much shit on me for sure. Freeze two punishes and play them next time. If there is a next time. Okay, they actually got melted. We took zero damage. It's giving we're going infinite vibes. It's giving new world record vibes. Purple punish is ideal. You know what we could do though? Hang on. We have, we have to think this one through. 
You play your rocks, you, you pray for a green punish. We did not get it. You pray for a blue punish. We didn't get it. That's fine. You know what? No, it's not. You pray for a purple punish. <laughs> we don't really want Frankie fast hands, but we went for it. We're, and we know if we live through this level, we're going to need another gold anyway. So it's, we, I'd rather have the gold in our pocket, okay? Uh, we got to get purples to get golds. I'm still living. I mean, this is a gold. It's not really the gold I want, though. Freeze me. <laughs> I'm not freaking leaving. I'm not freaking leaving. No, no. We took, we picked all the best cards though. I'm crazy. We didn't get a, um, <laughs> we didn't get another structure slot, man. We got to go luck up. We're still, we're going infinite. Fraud. So we don't need a gold. In that case, pull me, rock me, green me. Range is crazy. Then play your punish. That's just the best card available. Play your range. Also a very useful card. I would freeze your... You're always going to have something to do with that. And then I would freeze a blue to keep the chain rolling. Frankie's kind of useless for us. You need a six Sunder? Probably true. I think you're probably right. Start here. Hellfire damage. There's, there's value there. But I sleep. We take it up to a blue first. We go blue in the bless. Hot rock. Divine sight. Might as well play a bless. Gave us another bless. We go again. Freeze me this. I can't believe it wasn't a rock. It was a tower, which is actually like worse than a rock. Now that I think about it. A purple? Purples become golds. Money can be exchanged for goods and services. Okay, this is great. Two semi-useless purples become a gold sunder. I think the Repenters are just not that good. That's all right. We play Punish. We play Hot Rock. Freeze me. Pass turn. They are zooming, man. Redemption's usable. I don't think it works in my deck because it just means that the gold that we play one in five times, it's always a tower. But one in five times, it won't be discarded. But like, it's so easy for me to make golds, not to be braggadocious, that like, it just doesn't seem super relevant to me. So I'll take a praise B. And then combine your two golds. Reroll plus. <laughs> oh! Oh, that's a heck of a reroll. I would take a Sunder, thank you. Most powerful reroll in roguelite history. Oh, I would love to have frozen the divine sight, but whatever. <laughs> oh, baby. 
Reveal five cards again? I'm crazy. Two more golds? I don't want this garbage. I'm saving my money for persistent upgrades. Uh, 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 you hate me? You hate me? They're all useless. Now that I got rid of my lightning turret. Holy cow, treachery. They're not joking around anymore. Uh, okay, double up on this. We need good purples. Useless purples. You hate to see that? Because we don't have any good golds. <laughs> Divine Sight, Hot Rock. Have we even been hit yet? Like, this is... This is crazy. They need like a, an even faster speed. Banish useless purples? No, because I could turn them into useful golds if I ever get a an upgraded uh, slot capacity. Maybe I'm full on slot capacity though, now that I think about it. That's probably why they're not giving them, yeah, that's why they're not giving me them anymore. You're right, that's, oh, I, it's non-banishable. You're maxed. Well, that's all right. So the only thing we can use to scale ourselves right now is like purple punish. <laughs> I guess we could reroll our golds, but they're only going to become more. <laughs> it's like golds are like less valuable to me than purples, but it's hard to break the habit. Okay, green punish. Very good. Green divine sight, also pretty good. Uh, you know what? Draw me a quick praise B. Two green punishes become a blue punish. That's very important. Imagine, this is a big risk, but imagine if this becomes a blue punish. Oh! Look at that! That's an insane card to keep in your deck. I mean, honestly, freezing a rock for upgrade potential. Now we just need to fill our deck with as many punishes and green range increases as we can get. We're going to set a new world record. I'm so ready. Another punish? Don't mind if... And imagine if this gave us a blue punish. Oh, I'm so fucking stupid. I'm so fucking stupid, bro. Why would I do that? I don't know, because it could still become a purple punish on a random reroll. Oh! No shot. I don't even think we've had to use our heal. We don't want purples. We don't. We simply don't want purples. The pur purple. If a purple is not useful, then it can't get any more useful than that. Punish is very useful, though. I mean, this is the the card management is insane. You become a green, green punish. That's worth playing, playing. We can't freeze anything. That's fine. Are the devs here? Have you ever seen a run like this before? I do get gold rerolls, but the only gold cards I currently have unlocked in the meta are towers and then like a card that doesn't do anything for me, unfortunately. Useless. Um, I'll play my Divine Sight. I'll play a Praise B. I'll play a Purple Punish any day of the week. And then I'll create a Blue Punish. You shouldn't have. <laughs> oh. oh. It's like enemies, they, they don't appear anymore. They die before they can appear. You should be smart. 
You should just play your purple, and you should play your blue. I went away for 20 minutes, the game turned nuts. Hey, what is this? Vampire Survivors Dracula is gonna come and kill me at the end of the game. I don't think so. You would send every boss you got, brother. Look how long until we get another uh, draw. Oh my god, we gotta kill 13,000 enemies. Please, I need the draw. I need the draw, man. Come on. Come on. Holy. Oh! <laughs> You've only gone and done it. I never doubted you. You've now unlocked endless mode. You won't gain any rewards, but you can use it to test your metal. They cut me off. I was too good. Oh! I think we made like $600 that time. Oh, Mad Dog Nation, thank you for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. Holy. Oh, you're right. It is $904. You can see it right there. Thank you, Mad Dog Nation. Now, I just have to take a look. I, I want to go take a look at the leaderboards. <laughs> so I think I might be in the top 1% here. How do I see the global leaderboards? Please. Please. Okay, one second. I know I'm on streamer mode. Look at all the stuff we unlocked, bro. This is crazy. Click me. We need. I never thought we would need fast click. Purple divine sight. Extra choice. One extra choice when re-rolling. It's a true roguelite. Reveal one extra card before picking a card. Discard all cards in hand, draw four new cards. Must be the first card played. Ooh. Inbox time. All workers, please take a minute to look at the inbox. Okay, 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 okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Don't pull from my real inbox, please. <laughs> Just checking. Donate now. Defeat Governor Basilisk. Mark as red. Key.exe. I'm paranoid, man. I'm paranoid. I'm clicking on the eyes. I'm clicking on key.exe. I dragged it over to the lock. It's a game. I don't want it to post a scan of my driver's license. <laughs> I'm scared. A slash marker. That's um. That's heretic's fork. 